day and welcome. I've been getting some questions on how I'm getting those cinematic shots with the drones and uh, so I thought I'll make a tutorial on uh, how I'm doing it and this is going to be a freestyle tutorial I'm just going to film my hands with the controller and you will see the drone feed and uh, yeah I will be explaining what I'm doing and uh, yeah hopefully you will be able to learn from this and uh, maybe improve your drone flying skills so uh, yeah let's get into it okay so first things first I am flying in the mode 2 which means this is rotation this is altitude up and down and this is forwards and this is going side to side so that is all you currently need to know okay let's start recording yeah let's just get into the flying first shot I would guess uh, let's start simple so um, let's fly a bit higher let's take this lady right here let's capture it so first shot will be just flying towards it getting some altitude and then lowering the camera with the left thing so just like that and that is this type of a shot gives us sense of depth and motion because we have like all of this motion happening forward flight going up and also camera tilting down now let's do the same backwards going back lowering the altitude and tilting up the camera also gives uh, this sort of a dramatic feeling okay that that's that's that so um, let's see also uh, one one very good shot is like to reveal things uh, if you have your camera tilted downwards and you're flying towards something so let's get back a bit let's get oh we have this oh yeah this is also a very good shot flying backwards and tilting up the camera it reveals us whatever we want to reveal this in this case this thing all right so now just fly forward and tilt up the camera with your camera tilting thing and this also and also if you lower the altitude it gives you more motion which is more impressive and then you slightly rotate and start rotating around this thing stop the camera okay this is not perfect but practice makes perfect and if you would do, try this shot m more than one time you would probably make it so so let's do it again but this time I will do it properly so let's combine motions so this was flying forward and uh, tilting up the camera then going into a rotation around this object so currently we are yeah also rotating as you can see it's quite simple if you know what you're doing and remember practice makes perfect this is not like uh, a few day thing to learn I've been playing a lot of video games with joysticks and um, that really helps actually and I've been also flying for about five years and the first two years were like really intense I, I flew almost like every day and uh, you know so let's tilt up the camera let's reveal the monument okay the signal is glitching let's stop the camera tilt now let's go into a rotation ah man okay excuse me the signal is a bit against me so let's do it again but this time I will fly like this I will reveal the lady all right so Okay, revealing the lady and going into a rotation. Now lowering the altitude around the lady. Ah, uh, and looking at the lady. Something like that. Uh, so yeah this is <laughs> this is just freestyle flying uh, I really enjoy connecting motions I, I have a feeling that this is what like gives you 
more impressive shots if you connect motions. So um, also one very cool move you can do is um, is to fly low and uh, just do this very simple move. It gives you a sense of depth as well and a sense of speed because you are very close to something. In this case, like water. So you fly forwards and you slightly tilt up the camera slowly, checking where you're flying and revealing stuff. Now that looks cool, right? One of my favorite moves is rotating around objects, so um, I will show you how I'm doing that. The trick here really is to lock your fingers into this position that gives you the rotation. The hardest part is to rotate around something that is moving in space, because then you have to adjust your rotation where it's rotating around. This is fairly simple. If the object is staying in one place, then it's fairly simple to fly around it. The more motions you connect together, the more impressive the shot looks, like now. I'm rotating, I'm flying backwards, and I'm also tilting up the camera. And I'm slightly increasing the altitude as well. But I lost the lady from the, from the shot, yeah. But so, yeah, that's the trick, just to connect your motions. Also, one very cool move I really like to do is uh, when your camera is tilted upwards and you uh, rotate around something flying upwards and then tilting your camera downwards so it's like connecting all of the possible motions you can get and whenever the drone looks upwards it's kind of cool it's uh it's not not uh you usually don't see that not a lot of people get these shots where the drone looks upwards and uh it's very impressive always this is also a very cool move flying downwards while slightly rotating to one or other side and then when you're down down it enough <laughs> you can tilt up your camera and re like reveal the shot like this and maybe then continue in the shot like this oh my god this is such freestyle guys <laughs> this was not planned but that is how you make shots like this quite cool if we would have something happening in the shot like if I would be following something this shot would be pretty cool gotta say yeah so uh, and same with going upwards so uh, just tilt your camera down and uh, go up while slightly rotating it's very easy and it gives you like this cool shot. Just remember to rotate slightly and smoothly. So uh, going up and this smooth slight rotation. Yeah. And then of course one of the coolest things you could do with a drone is fly close to objects. I, I really enjoy flying through and flying close to objects. So let's find a tree or something where I can fly through. So I think this might be a very good spot. Yeah, this is a very good spot. So lowering the altitude, going forwards and tilting the camera up and flying through these branches. Okay, no, not these branches because the signal was not very reliable. All right, so where could we do? Oh, yeah, let's just do it like this. Let's just do a close flyby by these war dudes. So, all right, slightly to the right, tilting up the camera, slight to the right, and voila! That's the shot. Pretty cinematic, right? Gives you a sense of depth. Gives you a bunch of interesting emotions and excitement. It's pretty cool. 
uh, th this was a bit sloppy excuse me i wasn't really trying <laughs> no i was trying because try not there is no try do or do not so uh, stop trying and start doing i have a feeling that this is enough for today and uh if you enjoyed this freestyle flying tutorial type of thing and if you if you would like to see more of this from me then please leave a like and comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts was this useful were you able to learn from this because uh i really don't know this is an this is like an ex experiment for me so yeah that's that if you liked how this video looks then you're able to buy my lot pack in the description there's the link also card should appear somewhere right now you will buy my lots if you want to see more tutorials more beautiful aerial shots from me then please consider subscribing and if you are subscribing then click that bell thingy because then you will be notified whenever i upload and thanks to my one patreon named lucas thank you so much for being my patreon and also you can become my patreon Here's the card. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time.